uh, so the question this week or this month is what do we think what do we wish older generations understand and this question for me perpetuates the idea that older generations have problematic views and that's not accurate just like straight men can be incredible allies to the feminist movement and not every white person agrees with Pauline Hanson older generations can have immense influence in the way that we change the world and have been incredible influences. We are where we are because of the movement of people before us. I know so many people who are older than myself, much older than myself, who are pro women's rights, pro climate justice, pro mental health, uh, pro First Nations justice, who are on the front lines, who are protesting, who are using incredible powers that they have to be better and to make the world better. It's important to kind of look at um, the way that a lot of young people talk about uh, older and previous generations. I see a lot of, you know, people my age, Gen Zers and, and millennials complaining quite frequently about boomers and um, and other generations. You know, they don't understand what it was like, what it's like for us. And I think it's important to remember that Every generation is more progressive than the one before it. But it doesn't mean we can't help educate people and we'll get along with one another a little bit better. I know there's a lot of conversation around, uh, back in my day, we didn't have conversations around trauma. And I hope that there's a point for these people who are quite guarded in regards to that, to understand that it's safe now to talk about trauma and the impact of things that happen to you. I know people who have had really horrible things happen to them and feel like they're not able to talk about it because of the generation they were raised in or the way that they were pushed down to not talk about that kind of stuff. And I know that it would have been incredibly hard to see younger people being able to proudly stand in that. People have, you know, I hear it most frequently from people who are probably... 40 and up, we'll say, who complain that young people are, I mean, lazy is the big one, uh, but also, you know, you hear ungrateful and so on and so forth. All you've really got to do is look at how much stuff costs relative to an, an average income. I have by no means a glamorous job, but in say like the 1950s, I would have been able to afford to buy a house on my job. Now I'm lucky I live in the country because if I lived in the apartment I do in Sydney, uh, I would barely be able to afford rent. One thing that I wish older generations would understand is the urgency of climate change. We're seeing floods, we're seeing drastic weather changes, climate issues going all around the world. And when we deviate away from conversations that young people are having and towards conversations that decision makers who are prominently of older generation, of older age, that they're having, climate change is never really at the forefront of the agenda. It's often seen as an issue for the future, for the future generation or tokenistic actions that are being taken you know, to win the election or to make a certain group of people happy for a while. But the reality is, and what we've seen with the floods, for instance, with the lives claimed, the you know, homes, shelters, communities destroyed, is that climate change needs action now. It's affecting individuals now, and it's only going to get worse. The long-term ramifications of you know, rebuilding a community, mental health, is just drastic. And so, if I can you know, communicate with the old generation about one important concept is the urgency of climate change is more than ever before. So please take action. Let's work together. In the last sort of, I guess, 15 years, at least as far as I've noticed, um, there's been a huge, huge increase in the number of people who are coming out as LGBTQIA+. I guess there's this prevailing attitude that it's, it's a new thing and it's kind of a, a trend or a fad or whatever. But I would argue it's because there's a, a much more supportive and uh, encouraging kind of atmosphere for people to come out and, and to be openly who they are. 
I don't think it's appropriate to shame older people for not being able to be adaptive to these new ideas. I think change takes a lot of compassion 